Hi friends, I am Ranjit Dhan, you are watching Technology Expert and today I come with my new topic, RSI Indicator. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. It was developed in 1970 by 78 by J. Willis. So, I am going to explain RSI Indicator. Now, why RSI Indicator today? Because several of you want to know this indicator, how RSI work. So, that's why I come with the technical analysis of RSI. So, if you are new on my channel, then don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. What happened on that case? Whatever new topic I deliver, whatever new concept come, not from the technical analysis, apart from that, the current market needs, what's going in the share market, what are the future uh, market, about the uh, Nifty 50, the Nif uh, Bank Nifty, all the information you can find at one place. So don't forget to click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's start. What is RSI? RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. It's measure the magnitude of recent price changes. Try to understand. It measures the recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold condition. So basically, it gives you uh, information about a share either overbought or oversold on the basis of the price change uh, price changes. So due to by price changes, you can easily come to know it's overbought or oversold. But in which way? Overbought or oversold? If I say that's not a correct word. It defines you the range. It works as an oscillator. Why oscillator? Because it's moved in a particular range. That is 0 to 100. That's why the word used, it's a 100. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator. Reading from 0 to 100. This line. Reading from 0 to 100. So now, try to understand the RSI. First, RSI gives you the... RSI basically, it's a momentum indicator. It gives you the details about the momentum in your share. First thing. Second, it always moves between 0 to 100. Third thing, it will give you information about reversal of the share. The reverse trend when will start, it will give you that information. Fourth point, it will give you the information about the overbought or oversold. Fifth point, it will give you information about the extremely overbought or extremely oversold. Sixth point, it will give you information about the no momentum. It's not required always share having the uptrend or low trend. I mean uh, the bear, uh, bullish and bearish. Quite possible sometimes the share doesn't have enough strength to either go in the up, uh, upward or downward. On that time momentum will be zero. Okay, so RSI will give you all the information. Now, how to apply the RSI? So here is the example of Jaroda Catman. Log into your Jaroda, Jaroda application. After that, you have to go to the studies. Once you click on the studies, a box will appear. Inside that search box, you have to just type RSI. Once you type, type the RSI, the red color highlighted window, I am just going to make it zoom. So, this red window will appear. This window will appear. Uh, where the by default is the 14 days. And here you can see 80 is the overbought and 20 is the oversold. Uh, I am not agree with this one. Uh, if the formula is giving, in my consideration, 70 is the overbought and 20 is the oversold 70 is the overbought 20, uh, 30 is the oversold if I type 80 as per my understanding 80 is extremely overbought extremely overbought and 20 extremely oversold now this box is a black and black color so it will give you information about the color as per your comfort you can change this color red, blue, green, white, pink whatever color you want you can select from there now the question sir always I select the uh, duration of 14 period not required. It's all up to you. You can set 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever it is you want. You can select on that basis. You can uh, change the overbought oversold also. But what I personally feel, this one is the 14, the default one is the best. So go with the default feature instead of changing. But all is up to you. If you feel 14 is not enough, I will go for the 12 days. You can go with that. If you think color is not uh, uh, correct for you, not comfortable, change the color as per your requirements. So this is the way how to apply the RSI in Kite application Jeroda. So now you can see I apply the RSI here. So this line RSI 14 days, this black line is come here. Okay, it will give the information where 80 is the overbought, 20 is the oversold. So now this line you can see. Uh, let me zoom a little bit. Yeah. So now you can see the 14 days, the 14 days RSI indicator is applied on this. This is the SDFC chart where you can see the RSI is applied. So this is the way to apply the RSI. Now, 
I break the RSI signal lines in the simple way because it's a bit difficult to explain the RSI indicator in, in inside the uh, graph or inside the kite application. So as I mentioned, it's a like oscillator that moves between 100 to 0. So let me explain one by one. <coughs> so here the bottom is the 0 and the top is the 100. In between that, the uh, third point is the 50. That I consider the no momentum. So whenever you saw the RSI indicator is near to 50 bit up and bit down, just consider there no momentum, no strength in the sphere. So that just uh, observe the sphere instead of buying and selling. Don't take the decision of buy and sell on the name of the sphere or the words of other. Because 50 clearly indicating that it doesn't have any momentum. Now, when it's go bit up, 50 to 70. So like I told 70 is the overbought. 70 to our board. So the question is, sir, once it hit the 70, shall I go for the sell? No. No, nowhere it's mentioned that once it hit the 70, it means that it will go down. Quite possible it will cross the 70. It will go to 80 also, 85 also, 90 also, or 95 also. So you have to just observe. You have to just observe. Once you observe, then you come to know how much high it uh, high it will go. Quite possible it will go to 90-95 after that it will take the reverse turn. So wait till that time your RSI indicator doesn't give the indication of reversal of trend. Once you get the reversal of trend then only go for sell. Otherwise just wait at this point. Because it's not required at 70. Just consider you bought at somewhere in the 40-45. After that it will take the reverse trend. So now it is the 70 or you think oh it's at 70 now I can sold out. On that case, what happened? Whatever the capital you have, it doesn't reach such a big amount. On that case, you lo uh, you uh, you lose the chance to get more money to increase the value of your capital. Because without uh, getting the indication of reversal trend, you think now it will reverse. It's your assumption. Indicator doesn't do any such things. So on that case, what happened? You will uh, lose the golden chance. So just wait after 70, wait till 80, 85, or if it gives the reversal trend indicator at 70, then go for sale. Till that time you doesn't get the indicator, reversal indicator, till that time you can wait on the particular range, either it's a 70 or 80. Once it reaches to the 80, means extremely overbought, means it's a like a golden chance. Extremely overbought means buyer are attacking like anything. Okay, so you have to wait on 80. So if extremely overbought, the chances it will go to 90 also. But be remember, it never cross 100 and never go below 0 also. It always move between 0 to 100. Now, come to the downward. Now, it's in the reversal trend, so it's going downward. Or now, it hit the 30. So, 30, I mentioned here, oversold. And here, buy signal. So, you can ask, sir, if it's so, I saw the 30, the, my trend is hitting the 30. On that case, I'll go for buy. No. You have to again wait for that. Similarly, like the selling condition. Once it hit to 30, you have to wait the indication of reversal of trend. Till that time you doesn't get reversal trend indication, don't go for sale. Quite possible after 30, it will go for the 20 also. Now in the intraday, you think it's hit 30, so today I will get a good benefit. So you book a, a slot of 1000 shares. On that case, whatever, after 30, it go to the 20, 15, 5 or 10, you will lose your capital. So in that case, you have to wait till that time it doesn't give you a reversal indication. Once you get the indication of reversal of the trend, then you can go for the buy. So you need to focus these two things till the time you doesn't get the indication of reversal of the trend, either in the buying side, either in the selling side. Don't think, don't assume it's a bearish or it's a bullish indication. Or if it's a, in the 50, then just consider buyer and sellers both doesn't have a strength. So no moment, no momentum in the sales. So try to understand all these five lines. So whenever you apply the RSI, if you have any difficulty, you can add the line. The facility are available in the uh, kite application where you can attach the line 50, 30, 80, 0 or 100 all the way you can add as per your comfort. Now, how RSI work? The RSI calculation or RSI equal to 100 minus big bracket 100 uh, by 1 plus RS. This is the calculation. Now where RS is the average gain by average loss. Loss. Now question will come sir every time before applying the RSI I need to calculate all the things not required. That's the beauty of the modern technology. Nowadays all the trading platform giving you a facility you just need to apply the formula inside your chart or back and automatically it defined it will automatically calculate all the things or give you result. So you need to just remember the five line I, I, I explained you in the last slide. 
that one the 0 30 50 70 or 100 if you are more curious or more worry about your uh, uh, shares then apply the line for the 80 also or 20 also so no momentum over what extremely over what sold extremely over sold so you will get all the information so no need to do any calculation it's just for the information i write the formula here so at least you can understand what going in the background but all the things done by the application you just need to apply the formula now the way i break the uh, lines the similarly i break the indication means the bearish bullish or no momentum daily weekly or monthly basis or what action you need to perform that also i mention here so let me explain one by one if RSI weekly chart is more than 50 plus, if weekly is 50 plus, on that case, daily it considered at the bullish trend. 50 plus, it considered the bullish trend, so go for buy. If weekly chart is less than 50, when I am uh, talking about less than 50, automatically uh, the third chart comes in your mind that giving the indication of the bearish one. So that is the indication of the bearish in the daily chart. Or well, after 50, I saw it go to 40, then 30, extremely over uh, sold. Then it will go for 20 till that time it doesn't reverse that trend. But it gives you indication at some particular point. So it's a bearish, so go for sell. Now in the monthly chart, if you find above 50, in monthly chart if you find above 50, on that case it's giving the daily bullish indication. If you're going for the intraday, go for buy. Similarly, if you in the daily chart. If you want below 50, mean it's a bearish. Okay, so again in intraday it's giving you indication of sell. So go for sell, don't go for the buy. Try to understand these are the basic concept. If this concept in your mind, no need to understand the every time the chart where it's going up and down. You have to just fix some point in your mind: 20, 30, 50, 80, 0. No momentum, 100, top or bottom. If you understand the basic concept, uh, then no need to worry. Now again look at the weekly chart in between 50 to 100 means the mid mid to the top one monthly is above 70 when out of monthly is above 70 first condition 50 plus means 50 to 100 in between next condition in the monthly it's above 70 so it's a clear indication of the bullish look here bullish so go for the buy now in between 50 to 0 so it's the lower uh, lower side of the chart below 30 that I don't it's not required it at always once it hit to 30 it will give you indication of reverse trend or blindly you can buy till that time you doesn't get the indication don't go for all the way so below 30 miss again to bear is go for sell for that one now if weekly chart is above uh, 70 monthly is above 70 both are 70 70 plus on that case strong bullish indication strong bullish indication in the intraday so go for buy that's why i highlighted here buy plus plus so it's a clear indication if weekly or monthly both are the above 70 on that case it's a strong buy indication intraday go for strongly buy without any, uh, without any second question in your mind similarly if weekly uh, below 30 monthly is below 30 it's a clear indication of bearish it's a huge bearish it's a clear indication of downward trend so go for selling this case so you have to just remember this four five point it help it help you when you apply the RSI indicator in your chart. Now I'm going to explain in, uh, explain you on the Jayodha kite application how it's work. Okay, so now I'm at the Jayodha page. Here I select uh, trade idea. Now the first question comes to mind: So why idea? Why you select idea? So that's why at the beginning of tutorial I told you I will explain you what is RSI. What are the benefit uh, benefit of uh, RSI and what are the myth behind RSI? So you have to understand that also because if you blindly think always it's give the positive or negative indication reversal of trend, then you can go blindly for buy or sell. But that all, doesn't work always. Why I'm telling idea? Look at the ideas here. The price current uh, price is three point zero five. It's a yesterday price because today market is closed. So yesterday price is three point zero five. Now first question comes in mind. A uh, tea cost is 10 rupees, a coffee cost is 20 or 25 rupees. Would you think the 3 rupees share will return you 100 rupees in a month or 1000 rupees or you become a millionaire by buying this share in the Pokemon? No. So before buying, even RSI indicator saying it's a 46, so it's a below 50. So it's a bearish trend. So what happened on that case? You will wait once it hit to 30, after that you will buy uh, the idea say in a bulk. Thus consider you can buy the slot of 1000 or 10,000 slot. On that case what happened? 
after that again it will go down so i clearly told till that till that time you doesn't get indication of reversal of trend don't go for buy in the bearish trend similarly till that time you doesn't get the clear indication uh in the bullish trend do don't go for the sell we have to wait for that second thing we need to observe the strength of the shares so this company already in the position of bankrupt they have need to return in the some million or billion rupees to the government of india or some uh, other companies and number of issue uh, issue is going with this company just an example i am telling you what going in okay so that try to understand not saying what going in the background of idea just saying if the company doesn't have a strength don't blindly follow the indication of i sign idea video call and number of is go even the yes bank recently once the yes bank price was the 400 rupees now it's a 25 rupees or last month it was almost 15 or 16 rupees idea once upon a time it was 800 word of phone once upon a time it was 800 rupees current price is 1 rupees or 2 rupees video call last year the price was 115 rupees look at the current price it's a 3 rupees so you have to check the company background also what are the issue going in the company try to understand when even you, you are going for the job or any qualification or any higher study you first check what would be the return in the future so similarly whenever you are investing in the some share then you have you need to understand or you need to analyze the strength of the company what are the future plan what are the news going about this company you should be familiar familiar with all the things then only invest then you look at the price is very low some uh, a technical analysis tool is saying it's a bearish trend or bullish trend indication so i can buy in the bulk amount don't do that that's why i am always saying at least apply two formula at least apply two formula on that case what happen it will help you to take the decision for example rsi plus candle chart analysis candle chart analysis plus rsi club both the things on that basis you will take the decision that give you more accurate decision rsi plus mscd club both the uh, technical things then take the decision so you will more benefit you will take the more accurate decision the chances to increase your capital will be more don't take blindly decision so rsi giving you indication of the bearish and bullish it will giving indication of the reverse of the trend and that will also trend give you indication it will go up and down but it not required always you can follow this one because some cases it may be wrong the example i say idea video con yes bank or any number of company are available in the market this formula can't work on them so before buying uh, before buying the shares of any uh, company you should know the background at least otherwise go with the always go with the blue chip shares so hope you understand the rsi how it's work so now what else whatever question comes in your mind if you are stuck some point if you think rsi is not clear how the formula is work or you are unable to explore you can write your question in the comment section i will try to answer everyone apart from that you can follow me or ask the question on twitter on the linkedin or instagram i am also there to help you now your job if you like my video then don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you want to appreciate please share this video with the other so we can educate other also so they come to know about the share market how share market work what are the technical analysis or they become familiar with the all the terminology all the other link like the msc technical analysis candle chart technical analysis stop loss how to apply how to use the zero the kite application basic information what are the common mistake we we don't need to perform in the share market all the links are available in the description section go and watch one by one everything and i promise within 2 to 3 month you become familiar or you are bit confident now you can say whatever i am investing in the share market that will give me some good return